Hello, my name is uh, Mike Pfaff, and this is my YouTube channel, Living in the Illusion. Now, last week, or last video I made, uh, I, uh, we, we talked about creating, how we create our world. Uh, and I left, the, I left the diagrams on the, on the board, uh, and I enhanced them a little bit. Uh, so before we get started, uh, I'd like to go through a uh, kind of like a little overview, a little, a, a little uh, review of what we talked about, and uh, uh, and then move on a little bit to move through. This is part two of many worlds, many, many worlds. Now, uh, in the in this diagram. You can see, I'm going to use a pointer. I got a big pointer with a ball on the end. I got it specifically because of the ball on the end of another process I use called mind spotting. But that's a little bit different. So we're going to go back to many worlds. And you can see I enhanced the boundaries around these two individuals and recognize that there's a lot of white room, a lot of white, white space around it representing the outside energy that we're all embedded in. Now, as we went through the diagram last time, we recognize that all this white area we call everything because everything is outside of you. So what's inside of you? Your experiences, your references, your memories of things that happened in the past that you retain. Now, where do you keep that information? Well, in the diagram, here we put the subconscious mind and outlined it because in the subconscious mind is all your memories of all the experiences you've ever had. Out of those memories, when you find those that are repeatable, are you or uh, the repeatable circumstances, uh, you develop a belief about them. So you have beliefs, but your beliefs are actually made out of your memories, like kinds of memories. So both of these, both of these individuals that we're going to work with have a subconscious mind. They have their own memories. They have their own beliefs. Now, I, I drew over here a, uh, actually in the beginning, I drew uh, like a wall, like a wall separating the outside everything from the inside. And later on, I'll develop another model that shows you don't have an inside. But that's another part of the illusion. So inside this wall, we placed a lens so that we could get information. And you can think about it as your senses to a sensory opening, but where you can get information from the outside. Now, this lens, they both got a lens, this lens distorts as all lenses do, the lens distorts the information that passes through it. The dirtier the lens, the less information will get through it. And when you got a clean diamond, because I used to be work with diamonds, when you got a clean diamond, 
it basically means, and it's graded by how much carbon, black carbon or yellow or other colors that are in it. The more clear, more expensive, because it reflects stuff better. Gets the information goes where it's supposed to go. So you, you look at these lenses as being dirty. Now what are they dirty with? Your past memories. The, they are distorting the information that's going through the lens, through the lens because of your experiences from the past. So you are not going to get everything. Out here is everything. We also said it was the quantum field, the dowsing field, consciousness. You're not going to get all of that unmanifested everything inside of you. It just won't be there. So, but what does get through now, outside unmanifested information, inside is what you manifest. So inside of you, you manifest, what do you manifest? Your world. You manifest your world. You think your world is outside of you. No, that's energy out here. That's energy out here. What's inside is what you've manifested from the outside energy. And that depends on what gets through your filter of the past, which are your memories. The stronger memories that coalesce together and form beliefs are going to have a greater impact about the information that gets through and inside of you to make your to make your world. Now, if you'll recall, we use two different symbols for that. We use a square here to represent the world manifested, and down here, a circle to represent the world manifested in these two individuals. They're different. Why are they different? Well, their lens is different. Why is their lens different? They got different memories. We all have different memories, even if we're twins, even if we're conjoined twins, they have different memories. So the world that each creates is going to be unique to the individual. So but because of what I call uh, consensus agreements that we have in our family, in our society, in our country, in our culture, we bring those together in such a way that we can talk about uh, experiences. Uh, that we've had. Because if we couldn't, we'd sure be isolated. And there'd just be one of us. So, we have made certain agreements. And you might say, well, like this shirt. The shirt is, to me, it's blue. And maybe when you see it on the, tele, uh, on the, on the video, you'll say, well, it looks blue to me, too won't be the same blue. Why? Because we'll have different experiences with blue. 
So we're always a little off from each other. Tough on communication. But uh, we're in an illusion. And we're trying to make the best we can of it. We're trying to make the illusion real. Of course, it won't be, but we will try to make it real. So now, let's get back to our model for a little bit. And again, look at the lens. Look at the lens. On the outside, there's two... There's two sides of a lens. There's an A and a B side. Information goes in the A side, comes out the B side. Okay, that's what I wrote. There's a little B here, and there's a little B here. And I got lens here, and lens here, and A and A. On the A side is everything. So everything has potential coming inside. What holds it out? lens. How distorted the lens is. Now, if you have a lot of, I did this before and I usually do this with clients. So let's see how this works. Imagine, I might have done it on another video. Imagine that I can take all of your memories away from you. What an interesting concept. But just make believe I get a big vacuum cleaner and I suck all your memories away. Once I have all your memories, who are you? Well, that's, don't you think that's an interesting question? If you didn't have any memories, who are you? You might think of amnesia or Alzheimer's or dementia. Well, those are the ones that come up where you have trouble with memory. If I got all your memories, you don't have any. You're like a child. You're like an infant. You've got to be taken care of can't feed yourself, can't do anything. All your memories are how you manage to do that. If I have all your memories and you're sitting down, you can't get up. If you're standing up and I have all your memories, you don't know how to sit down. That's how important memories are. So, now, suppose I give you all your good memories. I give like, as many as you have. Maybe you only got 10, but maybe you got more. So I give all your good memories, and now that's what you have up here in your subconscious mind. You have good memories. And these good memories are what's going to Filter the input. What are you going to get on the B side of the lens? Good stuff, bad stuff. You're going to get good stuff. You have no reference to bad stuff. So this lens will let through those things that match your belief system and your memories, which now are just good memories. So what's your world going to be? Good world. Because you have no reference to anything else. So good world, good world. The same world, will these be the same? No. Because you'll have different memories than I have, even though they're good. That's the way it goes. Now, Again, in this little experiment, I'll take all your bad memories, I mean all your good memories away from you and give you your bad memories. Now all you got is bad memories. That's all you have them here, bad memories, bad memories. 
what information are you going to get through your lens? What kind of world are you going to create inside? Well, you got some bad memories. Terrible world. Will these two be the same? No, there'll be two different terrible worlds. And what do we call this? Video? Many worlds. So you can create many worlds inside yourself, which you do all the time, depending on what you're doing in your subconscious mind. So now I give all your memories back to you. Now you got all your memories. You have a combination of good and the bad, but you will be skewed to the good or you'll be skewed to the bad. You probably won't be in the center. So hopefully most of you will have skewed, that means moved, shifted to the good side so that you feel good about you. If you don't, if you have some mental illness, depression, anxiety, PTSD, obsessive compulsive, whatever, whatever you have, okay, whatever you have, it's going to be how you skewed your world. Because you create your world based upon what you allow inside. So if you want to change your world, okay, you, what do you have to do? Well, we talked about this in the, in the last video, so I'll give you the answer. You have to change your lens. If you want a different world in here, you have to change your lens. What is your, what's filtering in your lens? Your memories, your experiences from the past. You want a better world? You got to heal the past. It's all up to you. It's your world, and some people would say, well, I can't heal the past. They did it to me. I can still heal the past. It's over. Whatever you think happened didn't happen the way you think it does, and it's also doesn't matter because it's gone, and all you have left of what you think really happened is a memory. And it's the memory that is causing your lens to create a world that you might not want. And so you need to change your lens. Change your lens. So you can let different information in from the outside energy system, which is everything. Okay, now, you see the difference? Here's what it is. Out here in the everything is the good, the bad, the ugly, the terrible, the serene, the beautiful, the excellent. And you have decided, because of your past, to filter all of that good stuff out and only pick up the lousy stuff to create your world. You don't think you have any control. It's because you don't heal. You don't understand how you can heal the past. Past memories. You can't change the past. There's part of the illusion. There is no past. There is no past. There is no history. All you have is memories. All you have is memories. 
And if some of them don't serve you, change them. They're not real anyway. Create the world that you want. Have the fun that you want. It's all out here. It's available to you. But you have to let it in. You have to let it in. And to let it in, you have to use your subconscious mind and heal the memories that cause this to be so distorted, so dirty, that you get a world that you don't want. So this world that you create, you can change it anytime you want. You can create a different world that quick. You don't believe it, but you can. Uh, it has to do, th now this here, this whole thing, we didn't talk about that, but maybe we should. This, your subconscious mind has a certain energy. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's got good bit memories, bad memories, but overall, overall, it has a certain vibration. And it is that vibration that if you can match what you want in here by healing this and come up with a vibration that matches what you want out here, because everything is here, the vibration of what you want is here too. And you get these two together, you get these two together, and you must get that reality, that world inside of you. So, remember, this is all an illusion. This is all an illusion. And you believe it's so real. And if it's real, you can't let go of the past, you can't change memories, because they're fixed, they're in stone. No, they're not. They're silly putty. You can change them anytime you want. Matter of fact, you do that and you don't even recognize it. So there's a lot we need to talk about in relationship to this illusion we are living in. I just come up with these these ideas to stimulate you to begin to recognize. You can change. You can do things differently. You're not stuck. So you have to begin to recognize. Now, two things. Yeah, I, I didn't talk about the subconscious mind. Okay. The subconscious mind, I mean the conscious mind. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to edit that out. Just make believe I said conscious mind. Okay, uh, it looks at your world inside and projects it outside. That's why you think it's outside. And you think, oh, I can't change that, it's outside of me. No, it's not, it's inside. Your subconscious, I mean, your conscious mind just projects it outside. Don't listen to your conscious mind. It's highly related to your ego. Uh, and the same thing up here. Does the same thing. You think it's outside, and then you believe you can't make any changes because, oh, you can't change what's outside. Outside is just energy. You can change it. And we'll talk more about how to do that. So, in the meantime, be good to yourself. Have fun. Down below, if you're still listening, it must have been something of interest. So put the like button, hit the, hit the like thing, and, and you can also uh, subscribe. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time.
good to yourself. Bye now.